Explorers. I'm totally buzzing with excitement. Can you guess why? Today, we have a really special guest who's going to tell us all about bees. So, let's talk to Arthur, who is live in the field with some bees. Hey, Animal Jam. I'm Arthur Eby. I'm a chemistry major at Westminster College, and I'm here in Salt Lake City, Utah, to teach you about bees. Hi, Arthur. Can you tell us more about your beehive? Uh, this beehive has lots of windows on the front and also on the bottom, so you can just lay under here and look as much as you want at all the bees. And you got a lot of nukes in here, six nukes. Each nuke can hold one queen each, which it can in turn produce a lot more queens, which can spread all around the area and highly, highly increase the population of bees. Super cool. What would a beehive look like in the wild? A beehive can be anything from a bunch of comb in a cave to trees to rocks. Anywhere that bees can find is a good place to build a home, they will. Are bees important to humans? Incredibly. One third of the human diet depends on bees pollinating, such as almonds, peaches, uh, peas, anything you can name, honestly, that from a fruit and vegetable probably depends on bees. Wow, that's amazing. But I need to know, are bees dangerous? <sighs> Definitely not. I can just stand right here as long as I want, <laughs> right in front of their hive, but they're not going to sting me. I am wearing a bee suit, so that helps, but they are pretty pretty gentle. As long as you don't make any sudden movements around them, and as long as you're not posing a threat to them, you're pretty much fine. So, what makes a queen bee different from a regular bee? A queen bee is essentially a female that has reproductive organs. Most of these bees are kind of gender neutral. They're technically called females because they don't have male parts, but really, they don't have female parts either. They don't have any reproductive organs because at the time of their fertilization, they didn't get enough protein to develop that, and they didn't need that. They just need to be a worker bee. The queen bee is loaded with a whole lot of protein from pollen from flowers in order to make her the queen, and that makes her a lot bigger, a lot stronger, and a lot more able to make baby bees. How do bees communicate with each other? Bees dance in order to communicate. They have a very set, specific amount of uh, dances, moves, and uh, chemical signals that they emit as well to help communicate where a huge mass of flowers or honey or any kind of uh, wealth that they need in order to get to where they're going. So, can you do your best impersonation of a bee dance? like my awesome dance moves. Thanks for telling us about bees, Arthur. I learned so much. Keep learning about bees and other animals. Go to AnimalJam.com and don't forget to play wild.